Welcome to part 5 of the NGPF Desmos tutorial series. This series is in support of our financial algebra curriculum. For more details about this free math and personal finance course, visit us at ngpf.org. In this video, we're going to be covering adding uh, slider variables and then setting the range and uh, step of those sliders. Right? So we can actually add some interactivity to our graph um, by instead of defining a specific number in an equation, we can uh, assign it a variable and then be able to manipulate and change that variable. And we can do the same thing with points. So we're going to check both of those out today. Okay. So what I'm going to start off uh, by doing is typing in a regular old equation like 2x plus 1, right? And maybe when I'm doing this, I want to have a discussion with my students about uh, what the 2 and the 1 uh, do to my graph. How do they help me create the graph? So this is a uh, uh, talk about slope and, and y-intercept, right? So I, what I can do is instead of writing 2, I can change this to an m. And instead of writing uh, 1, I can change this to a b. And if you notice what this is doing is it's saying, hey, do you want to add a slider for m and b? Because I don't know what they are, right? The only uh, variables that Desmos knows about by default are x and y. Any other letter is treated as a uh, as a as an unknown variable that you have to define. So what we're going to do is we're going to add sliders for both of these. Right. And if you notice, this one is actually saying, OK, M is one and B is one. And so if I plug those in, this is really creating the equation Y equals one X plus one. And it drew a graph for that. I can then slide these. And if you notice, I can make this like B equals four. And now this is the equation Y equals one X plus four or Y equals two X plus four. Right. And I can manipulate them if I want. OK, but. Maybe I want to change the uh, the information that's being displayed. And if you if you can see right here, this is saying negative 10, and then on the other side, it's 10. So the range of these the sliders is from negative 10 to positive 10, right? And the same thing with the B, and that's as far as it goes, right? So if I want to change that range, or I want to change uh, the step that this slider is taking, so you can see that my B values are going up by 0.1s, right? Maybe I only want them to go up by, by single units instead of by decimal units, right? So what I can do... So I can click on uh, the equation portion of this, and it brings up some additional options below it, right? The first one is to set the range. So maybe I want this M value to really go from negative 20 to positive 20, okay? And maybe I want the step of this one to continue to go by 0.1. So maybe I want to go by 0.25, 0 0.25, right? So we can set that, okay? And then I can do the same thing with the B value. Maybe I want this to go from negative 20 to positive 20, but I want this one to count by ones, right? So now... You can see that my slider range changed, right? And now if I drag this, it's actually changing by 0.5 or 0.25, uh, right? And my B value is negative 20 to 20, and it's changing by single units instead, right? So you have the ability to control uh, both the range of the slider and the step units that it uses as it goes across the slider, okay? So here's kind of a fun uh, other little feature that you can use here. On the left-hand side, they have these animation features. So if you hit play, what it's going to do is just slowly move across this range and back until you tell it to stop. So again, if you want to have a discussion with your students about what the slope is doing to the graph, you can kind of keep this going and uh, let them start, uh, you know, giving you some suggestions about what this does, right? Same thing works for this one, right? You can see it going up and down, okay? So we can do this with as many variables as we want in, inside of an equation. If it holds that many variables, we can just, uh, instead of using numbers, use a variable to, to add a slider to the equation. We can also do the same thing with points, right? So if I did something like uh, R comma S, right, just as a point, right, it's again saying, I don't know what R and S are, so I'm going to add a slider for those, okay? And it created a slider at 1 comma 1, and then I have the ability to slide this around, right? and do something like this. And again, you can kind of hit play and manipulate this as much as you want, right? And change that, right? And see the interactivity, right? So this gives you, again, the opportunity to create these types of graphs uh, and use it as an exploration activity to, to have conversations with your students about what these uh, variables are doing uh, to the graph as we change them, set the sliders, set the, the range as much as you want, uh, and use those for your class discussions.